Hi, this is Jay Fleming. I'm the senior developer with Lulea Media, and this is the Child Theme Configurator quick start video. The next thing is this new Files tab. We had a lot of requests for people who wanted to be able to copy templates from the parent theme into their child theme and edit them. Uh, and I hadn't really thought of that. The original um, thought was for this to be a tool to edit the style sheet but it sort of evolved into a tool to basically configure your entire child theme from templates down to style. So we went ahead and added this feature. So what it does is it scans the parent theme and creates this list of all of the templates that the parent theme is using for various things, um, you know, like the file not found template, the header, the footer, uh, default index page, all this stuff that WordPress uses automatically to generate the content. Uh, you can now customize. So what you do is, let's say you want to edit this uh, sidebar content page template. You can copy that over your child theme and it will show up here under child templates now. And that means that it has actually copied the template verbatim over into the child theme so that you can edit it. And we've added a link to make it easy to go over to the editor uh, and it will automatically go to your child theme and you can see that the new sidebar content page template is now here. You can click on it and you can edit it um, by hand if you want. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that if your child theme is active and you make a change and that change ends up breaking WordPress or breaking PHP uh, because of a syntax error or a logic problem or some other bug, uh, it will break your site. So I always recommend that you do your changes on an inactive theme. Use the live preview tool under appearance to verify that it works and then you can go back and activate it. So now the new uh, child theme for responsive is using the child theme template, the child theme style sheet, um, and that, that one content template that we copied over, it will automatically use that instead of the parent themes template. That's just a function of child themes that's built into WordPress. It just all works. So there you go. That is how you copy templates. Let's go back to the child theme files page. The next thing we've added is the ability to upload images. So what we've done here is added a file uploader that uh, actually puts the images in a image directory in the child theme and not in the media library. Um, if you want to upload images for use in, in the site itself, keep using the media library, don't use this. This is really only specifically to be used by the style sheet. Okay, so we're going to upload an image to the child theme images directory. Click browse. It's just like any other file uploader. And I'm going to upload a background from the jQuery UI. Um, and it's going to put that image in the child theme images directory and you can click on it and it'll give you a live preview of the image. Um, so how do you use that? Well let's go back to query selector just for example and let's create a new theme so we're going to say um, stripey background background Images. What is that? Let's copy this. Stripey background is using this image that we just uploaded into images directory. So it's a relative uh, path to the style sheet because it's actually in the child theme. I'm going to save that. Now if we load Stripey Background, you'll see now we have this image repeating pattern that's available to you. And uh, you can do that with any images. 
um, just for grins, let's do another one I've got loaded here. Let's um, let's load the jQuery UI icon set. So click browse. Let's go down here, find the. Let's see, I've got a bunch of stuff on my desktop. Here we go. UI icons, and I'm gonna load that. Now you've got the icon set from the jQuery UI that's available for your styles as well. Um, one last thing that we've added is the ability to customize your screenshot. And this is really not, you know, mission critical, but it's useful. So it gives you a view of the current screenshot. You can click it, enlarge it, and see what you got here. This is the screenshot that comes with the responsive theme. And uh, let's say we want to customize it. So I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to load this picture of Sheldon. Sheldon is my cat. Now Sheldon is the, the child theme screenshot. Here's Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. So now over in Appearance, Sheldon is the featured screenshot for my child theme. One more thing uh, to point out is that if for whatever reason you need to remove a template from the child theme, you can uh, by checking it here and clicking remove and it will just go away. Um, this is useful if, say for example, you decide to change the parent you want to use. Let's say uh, we go to let's load 2011. Okay, and then the files. You'll notice that the templates are different. They are the templates for the 2011 theme. And let's say we copied this tag, template over. Okay, and then we change our mind. So we say, okay, I want to, I don't want to use 2011, I want to use 2012. So we go to 2012, load that instead. So that's the new parent. We're still using the original child theme, responsive child. You'll see that it still has that original tag template from 2011. Well, that might create a problem because 2012 has its own tag and the code might be different. So what you need to do is delete that one and then copy the new one. You can also do the same thing with the images. So we decide we don't want these images in the way. We can remove those as well. And they just go away. Something else I want to point out under the files on the files page is that now your backup files are going to show up here in this child theme file section. So if you want to get rid of an old backup file, you can just check it and then delete selected and it'll get rid of it just like it would for any other child theme file. We've also added the ability to export your child theme as a zip archive. So if you wanted to save the entire set of changes that you've made and then move it over to another WordPress site, uh, you can do that by just clicking export and it'll create a zip file you can save um, and then you can load that on another site just like you would load a new theme. Well that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any questions uh, please drop us a line on our website. Uh, you can fill out the contact form or you can send us an email to solutions at and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.